Uh, today we are going to discuss about beam to column connections. Basically, the beam to column connections are of three types flexible connection, rigid connection, and semi rigid connection. Uh, flexible, flexible connection is also called as shear connection, uh, where it resists and transfer the end reactions only. And this type of connection uh, permits free rotation. Uh, and there is no moment restraint in case of flexible connection. Then uh, comes the rigid connection. Rigid connection also known as moment connection. Uh, it resists and transfer and reactions and end moments. It uh, does not permit any kind of free rotation. In case of semi-rigid connection, it uh, resists end moments and permit relative rotation. This is a graph showing uh, moment rotation relationship. Uh, the y-axis indicate the moment and the x-axis indicate the rotation. Um, these three graphs are for uh, rigid connection, semi-rigid connection and flexible connection. In case of ideally rigid uh, connection, uh, the graph exactly coincides with the y-axis uh, moment and in case of ideally flexible case, uh, it uh, coincides with the rotation. That is x-axis. Coming to various types of flexible connections, it includes uh, stiffen connection and unstiffen connection. Um, in case of stiffen connection, uh, in case of unstiffen connection, there is a, a seat angle connected to uh, to the column. And in case of uh, stiffen uh, stiffen connection, the seat angle is further uh, stiffen so that the name differ. Coming to rigid connections, uh, this is a figure showing the rigid connection. These all can be discussed in detail later. Coming to the uh, semi-rigid connection, uh, basically two types, uh, end plate connection and seat angle connection using stiff medium size flange angle. And the connection subjected to eccentric shear. It may be a following type, seat connection, framed connection and bracket connection. In seat connection, it is again divided into stiffened seat connection and unstiffened seat connection. Uh, well, in case of bracket connections, uh, it is again di uh, divided into type 1 connection and type 2 connection. Uh, actually, the first two connections are simple connection uh, because they transmit the beam reaction close to the column phase without developing any significant moments. Uh, to allow the sufficient rotation, a decade gap of about 100, uh, 10 to 15 mm is provided between the connected members. Um, bracket connections uh, support the reactions from girders uh, at significant eccentricity and develop a countable moment also. Seat connection, uh, in this type the beam is supported over an angle section uh, connected to the column. Uh, First, uh, we will discuss detail about unstiffened seat connection. Here, one leg of the angle, which is called a seat angle, is used to make a uh, seat for the beam. And the another angle, which is called a cleat angle or clip angle, is provided at the top flange and it will provide lateral stability to the compression flange at the support. Coming to a uh, stiffened seat connection, when the reactions from the beam is to be transferred is large, uh, the seat angle is further stiffened using angle sections. Uh, it is termed as stiffened seat connection. This is the figure showing the uh, unstiffened seat connection and stiffened seat connection. Coming to framed connection. In this type, the web of the beam is connected to the column flange using angle sections which is called as framing angles. And the seat angle or erection seat may be provided to help in erection but they do not transfer any load. When a beam frame at right angle to another beam, it is also called as framed connection. These are the figures showing the framed connection. And coming to the bracket connection, bracket connection are of uh, two types. First one is type 1 connection and type 2 connection. Type 2 connection is again uh, of two types that is using plate section and using T section. <laughs> Bracket type connections are made when uh, two members to be secured together do not intersect. It is not desirable as eccentricity is introduced in the connection as well as one of the member. These type of joints are subjected to direct shear and shear due to torsion in case of a bracket connection of type 1 and subjected to direct shear and tension due to bending uh, in case of bracket connection type 2. 
In bracket connection type 1, the testing moment is in the plane of connection and the line of action of the load is in the plane of con plane of the bolted connection and the center of gravity of the connection is the center of rotation. In this type of connection, the bolt group is uh, will be subjected to direct shear and shear due to twisting. Uh, these are the figures showing type 1. And in case of type 2 bracket connection, the twisting moment is in a plane perpendicular to the plane of connection. Uh, and the line of action of the load does not lie in the plane of bolt group. And the line of rotation does not pass through the center of gravity of the bolt group. And the bolt group are subjected to direct shear and tension due to moment. Uh, now it's the time to discuss some numerical problem. First, we will discuss about unstiffened seat problems related to unstiffened seat connection. Before going to the problem, first, uh, we can see how to design the unstiffened seat connection. The length B of the seat angle is assumed to be equal to the width of the beam flange. The seat angle section is uh, selected on the basis of considerations as follow. Uh, the length of the outstanding leg of the seat angle may be calculated on the basis of web crippling of the beam and the seat length seat leg length is kept more than calculated bearing length and the length can be found out using uh, and the bearing length can be found out using the equation b equal to r gamma m0 divided by tw into f YW, where r is the reaction for the beam, from the beam and tw is the thickness of the web of the beam FYW is the yield strength of the web and gamma M0 is the partial safety vector which is usually taken as 1.1 and the third one is a dispersion of 45 degrees is taken from the bearing of the seat to the root line so that the length of the bearing on the seat is um, B1 my equal to B minus TF plus R1 <coughs> where Tf is the thickness of the beam flange and R1 is the root radius of the beam flange and the distance between the end bearing on the seat to the root of the angle B2 equal to B1 plus C minus Ta dash plus Ra where Ta is the thickness of angle, R is the root radius of angle and C is the clearance and tolerance. The connector lead is so chosen that at least two horizontal rows of the bolts can be accommodated and the reaction is assumed to be uniformly distributed over the bearing length B1 and the thickness of seat angle is so chosen that the outstanding leg does not fail in bending on a section at the toe of the fillet. The bending moment M can be calculated using M equal to R by B1 into B2 into B2 by 2 which can be again written as 1.2 ZD F by I gamma M0 where, Z, where ZD is the section modulus of the angle leg providing bearing the moment is equated to the moment capacity if the assumed angle thickness is not sufficient uh, when the uh, section is revised the shear capacity of the outstanding leg of the seat angle is calculated as VDB equal to BTA FY divided by root 3 gamma M0. Well, R is the reaction from the beam. B is the length of the angle or uh, width of the flange of supporting supported beam. And the bolt diameter is assumed as number of bolts required to connect the seat angle with the flange of the column I determined where N equal to N reaction divided by strength of bolt where n is the number of bolts and the outstanding leg of the seat angle is connected to the beam flange with the uh, two bolts of same diameter as provided on the angle leg connected to the column flange. A clay angle of nominal size is provided on the top flange of the beam. Uh, it is connected by two bolts of same diameter uh, as provided on the seat legs, seat angle legs. This is a figure showing other various things that we are discussed earlier that is B1 is the length from this to this and Tf plus R1 is the length from here like that then coming to a problem design a bolted seat connection between an ISMB 250 at 37.3 kilogram per meter beam and an ISW uh, B 250 at 40.9 kg per meter column 
So as to transfer a service uh, beam and reaction of 70 kilo newton, uh, the rolled steel uh, structural sections are Fe410 grade steel and uh, 20 diameter molds of grade 4.6 are used for the connection. So here the details were given. So uh, first of all, uh, we have to draw the column section and uh, also the beam section and uh, provide all the properties or give all the properties, uh, all the length, all the measurements of the beam section and column section using this data from the code. Then come the proportioning of the seat angle. Here length of the seat angle B which is equal to the flange width of the beam. The flange width of the beam is taken as 125 so that the length of the seat angle is uh, 125 mm. And length of the uh, bearing on beam web B can be calculated using VU divided by TW uh, into FYW divided by gamma M0. VU is the VU can be found out using. Uh, we know here the beam reaction is given. The reaction is given as column reaction is given as 70 kilo newton. Uh, so that uh, the VU ultimate load can be calculated using. 70 into 1.5 which is equal to 105 kilo newton and after putting the VU value in this equation we will get the value of the B that means length of bearing on the beam web then calculated the length calculate the length of bearing on seat B1 which is equal to this calculated B minus Tf plus R1 Tf if the A is the flange uh, flange flange thickness and r is the root radius and from that uh, the value obtained is 41.46 mm and the load 105 is distributed uniformly over the bearing length of 41.64 mm so that assume a 3 mm clearance between the beam and column so that the length required for the outstanding leg equal to this uh, b plus 3 this clearance that equal to 69.96 mm hence the provided outstanding length, length equal to 75 mm which is greater than the B calculated therefore it is safe and the minimum length of the leg connected to the column flange should be able to accommodate two horizontal loads of bolt this is the minimum requirement so that uh, you can be calculate you can calculate the minimum length as P plus 2 E P is the pitch length E is the at the distance and which can be cal which is equal to 60 plus 2 into 35 which is equal to 130 which can be approximated to 150 mm this p is calculated using 2.5 d means the diameter of the bolt and e equal to 1.5 d0 d0 is the diameter of the bolt hole so consider an angle section isa 150 uh, by 75 by 12 for the seat uh, for this uh, angle section the TA will be 12 mm and the RA will be 10 mm so that the length of the seat angle B2 between the root of the angle and the end of the bearing as B2 equal to V1 which we already found plus C minus TA plus RA then the value obtained is 22.46 mm uh, and the moment at the critical section axis and the section is taken at this location can be found out using the load uh, 105 kilo newton. Uh, the kilo newton is converted to newton which is into 10 to 3 divided by B1. This distance into B2 square by 2 and the value obtained as 0 0.6388 kilo newton meter and the moment capacity of the angle leg can be found out using the equation 1.2 ZD F by Fy by gamma M0 um, and uh, after putting the values of ZD, FY and Gamma M0, we will get the answer as 0.8182 kN meter which is uh, greater than the calculated value so that it is safe in bending. Then check for shear capacity. Here we provide uh, the provided angle was 150 by 100 by 12 and the shear capacity of angle leg that is seating leg equal to BTA into Fy divided by gamma, uh, root 3 gamma M0 and the value obtained as 196.82 kN which is greater than 105 kN and therefore it is 
safe in shear then coming to the connection of angle leg um, with the column flange okay, here we use 20 mm bolts of grade 4.6 so that, that the strength of the bolt in shear can be found using the equation uh, vnsp divided by gamma mb where vnsb equal to fub divided by root 3 gamma m root 3 into nn anb plus ns asb and after putting the values we we will get the answer as 45.27 kN and then find the strength of bolt in bearing using the equation VDP equal to VNPB divided by gamma M0 and the value is obtained as 72 kN. Uh, the strength of the bolt must be taken of minimum of the above 2 so that the strength will be 45.27 kN. Uh, therefore, number of bolts required is calculated using the total capacity of the section divided by strength of one bolt so that you need uh, four bolts in two rows each having two bolts then design of clip angle or cleat angle provided a nominal angle of isa 75 by 75 by 8 at the top of the beam with two 20 mm bolts on each leg and this is the detailing here you can see the column and the beam this is connected using a cleat angle and bolted in two rows of bolted with the two rows of 20 mm bolts if instead of uh, bolt connection if you use welded connection you can you have to find out uh, the weld size so that uh, the 150 mm leg is connected to the column flange by providing vertical welds on two sides and VU equal to LW TT FY FU divided by root 3 gamma M0. From this, you can find uh, the value of S and the value of S is obtained as 2.64 mm. And the minimum weld size as per the table 21 of IS 800 is 5 mm so that provide 5 mm filled weld to connect the 150 mm leg of the flange of column. This is how the weld connection is provided. Then coming to stiffen the seat connection. This is the design pro uh, procedure for the stiffen seat connection. As in case of uh, unstiffened seat connection. Uh, the size of the seat angle is based on bearing length requirements and generally taken equal to the width of the beam flange. Uh, the outstanding length of the stiffener must provide the uh, required bearing area which is given by AB equal to RU divided by TW into F by W divided by gamma M0. Due to the rigidity, the stiffen connection behaves as a bracket connection with a greater eccentricity. That is, the bolts on the connecting line are subjected to a tension due to moment in addition to the direct shear. The reaction from the beam is considered to act at the middle of the bearing length and the uh, design bending moment is called calculated at the face of the column flange. And the adequacy of the uh, connection check using the uh, interaction formula VUB divided by VDB all square plus uh, TUB divided by TDB all square less than 1. Uh, a cleat or clip angle of nominal size is provided at the top of the beam and is connected with the bolts of same diameter as on the seat angle. Two bolts on each of the two legs of the cleat angle may be sufficient. Coming to the design problem. Design a bolted stiffen seat connection between ISLB 400 at a 56.9 kg per meter beam and an ISHB 250 at a 54.7 kg per meter column for transmitting service beam and reaction of 235 kN. From the given data, we draw uh, beam and column sections and mark all the dimension using the code 
and then uh, the ultimate shear force is obtained as 1.5 into this 235 kN which is equal to 352.5 kN and then the first step is the proportional of the seat angle uh, length of the seat angle as we already uh, studied in and stiffened elements uh, length of the seat angle equal to width of the beam flange that is 165 mm length of the bearing on beam web b equal to uh, vu by tw uh, fyw divided these are the step that is uh, quite similar to that of unstiffened connection and the length of the bearing on the beam is obtained as 193.83 mm and assume a 5 mm clearance between the beam and column so that the required length of option leg is equal to 200 mm and the length of the leg connected to the column flange should accommodate uh, two rows of bolts assuming 20 mm dia for the bolt so that the length of that leg equal to p plus 2e p e and e can be found using this equation and the p is of and the length of the leg is obtained as 150 mm so that provide isa 200 by 150 by 10 as the seat angle and coming to the proportioning the stiffener angle thickness of the stiffening angle should be equal to or greater than the thickness of the beam web so assume 8 mm thick uh, two angles as stiffener bearing area required for the stiffen, stiffener angle equal to vu divided by fy divided by gamma m0 and the value is obtained as 1551 mm square and the length of the bearing length can be found using area divided by two times the thickness so that uh, the value obtained as 100 mm uh, therefore consider two isa 100 by 65 by 8 sections as stiffener angles and the outstand of stiffener angle should not exceed 14 T epsilon and the value is uh, obtained as 112 mm so provide length of outstand as 92 mm and the connection with the column plan assume 20 mm uh, dia bolts of grade 4.6 there will be two vertical rows of bolts connecting the two stiffener angles with the column flange. To, uh, to find the strength of the bolt in shear, use the equation Vd is B equal to Fub divided by root the gamma m0, Nn AnB plus Ns Asb, and the value is obtained as 45.27 kN. And the strength of the bolt in bearing can be found out using this equation that is 2.5 kb d tfu divided by gamma mb and the value obtained is this and the strength of the bolt will be taken as the minimum of these two so here minimum is 45.27 so the uh, strength of the bolt is taken as uh, 45.27 and uh, assume two bolt lines are provided so that the number of bolts in each bolt line can be found out using the equation root of 6m divided by p n dash into v d b where uh, n means the number of vertical rows that is here two rows so that provide two and here 100 means the uh, length of bearing like Hmm. And the number of uh, bolts required in each bolt line is 7 and the depth of the stiffener angle can be found using the uh, using here h is small this is the depth of the stiffener angle you can see uh, here an edge distance of 40 so 2 times 40 and this distance is uh, 60 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 into 60 this is how we obtain this 440 mm and the effective depth of the connection h equal to 440 minus uh, edge distance so that uh, 400 the neutral axis will lies at a height of uh, hy7 that is 57.14 mm then design strength of bolt in tension uh, can be found using equation 19 fub a and b which must be less than or equal to fyb into gamma mb divided by gamma m0 into asp after uh, equating this we obtain the value as um, 
85.68 kilo newton and the design bolt strength can be found using uh, T and B divided by gamma M0 which is obtained as 68.54 kN and the design strength of bolt in shear uh, actually we found that earlier is equal to 45.27 kN and the factor shear force acting on the bolt equal to 60, uh, 352.5 divided by total number of bolts that is 40 equal to 25.18 and the factor tensile force acting on the bolt in order to find in order to find that here the neutral axis is at a uh, depth of uh, 57.14 mm from the bottom of the bracket plate so 12 volts are uh, above neutral axis so that uh, found y a to each bolt line and also find the sigma y a square and put uh, that in the equation m dash equal to m divided by 1 plus 2h divided by 21 sigma y a divided by sigma y a square and the value for m dash is obtained as 30.54 kN and the tensile force in the critical bolt which can be calculated using m dash y n divided by sigma y a square and the value is obtained as 18.29 kN and then check for the interaction using this equation and this interaction is less than 1 so it is ok so provide a clip angle of 75 by 75 by 8 at top and this is the detail of the section